Hi everybody, it's me Tess with Tess Loves Yarn. You guys, I'm so sorry I haven't been posting more videos lately. I have been uh, having um, a little medical issue going on. Um, Y'all know, if you remember right, almost three weeks ago a family member of mine um, had a big major surgery and um, that's like still ongoing. And so I've been doing that, and then I've been having this little blood sugar, low, low blood sugar issue of my own, where my sugar is just uh, crashing really low, and um, that's uh, been a real problem. <laughs> so we have been trying to get that all figured out. I've had some tests done, and... Um, yeah, we're trying to get that figured out, but that's the reason why I haven't been posting more videos lately because of those two things that are going on. So uh, bear with me. I think that, uh, you know, we're going to get this resolved very soon and things should go back to normal. <laughs> so with all that said, I apologize for my appearance. I know I don't look the best. I was... Uh, in the ER all night last night on um, well actually it was last night but this this video is going to go live Saturday morning I'm actually filming this on uh, Friday evening so it's gonna go live tomorrow so by the time you see it it was Thursday night and uh, Friday morning that I spent in the ER because my sugar uh, dropped down to 40s and uh yeah it was not fun <laughs> so kind of makes me feel bleh, you know but anyway the reason I'm doing this video is to let you all know that and also um because in the mail today this afternoon my um Mary Maxim uh my monthly Mary Maxim kit came and you guys know how much I love my Mary Maxim kit. Now, you know, I'm not affiliated with Mary Maxim in any way. However, if Mary Maxim would like to be affiliated with me, I'm all for it. Like literally two thumbs up. But yeah, so these are my absolute honest thoughts and opinions and, um, I pay for this out of my own money. I don't receive this for free or anything else or discounted or anything. I pay the, I believe it's like $22 a month because I think it's like $17 for the actual kit and then like $5 for shipping. So extremely reasonable. And most of the time you really get your value for the kit. There are once in a great while, there's like a, a one-off where it's kind of like, hmm, what happened there? But those are far and few in between. So um, thank goodness for that, right? So in the big picture, 95% uh, of the time, I love this kit every month. So yeah, just want to throw that out there. So I am going to take my uh, handy dandy scissors here and we're going to cut this bag open. Whew, if I can get it in here. Let's see. Uh, there we go. All right. So let's see what Mary Maxim sent us this time. Oh my gosh, you guys. What the heck? Check it out. <laughs> we have some cotton cakes. Some Karen cotton cakes. So let, let me get into this. And I'll also show you what the pattern is that came with it. Oh, you guys, it's for a tote bag. Wow, that's a nice tote bag, too. Look at that. I'm going to bring it really close in so you can see it. Oh, let's see. There we go. 
tote bag. Look at that. Nice. Okay. And it says the skill level on this tote bag pattern is easy. So that should mean beginner friendly for any of you out there that are new to crochet and want to get started on something. Um, the Mary Maxim crochet kit is great because it, it normally is a very beginner friendly pattern. Normally. Just throw that out there. So let's look at our yarn. We have four um, balls of the Caron cotton cakes. So I want to show you this colorway up close. That's the colorway, which I really like all of the colors except for the mustard yellow. That's, that's um, not a favorite color of mine, mustard yellow, but the other colors I really like. <laughs> so we'll have to see how this works up to see if I actually like it or not. Um, it, it actually looks pretty cute on the bag. I mean, look at the colors on the bag. If you can see that. But, yeah. So, uh, each ball of yarn is 211 yards. So, we have four of these. So we have 844 yards in uh, of the cotton cakes, 844 yards, yeah. And these are a worsted weight number four yarn, and the cotton cakes are 60% cotton and 40% acrylic, which is my favorite um, cotton blend. I really like that blend a lot because the... 40% acrylic doesn't take away from the cotton too much and it also allows better washing so it doesn't shrink up. 100% cotton will shrink when you wash it whereas the cotton blend uh, does not shrink, shrink very much at all. So that's why I like cotton blend and it's actually one of my favorite yarns to work with, cotton blend. So yeah. Um, let's see what else it says. It says on here to use a 5 millimeter crochet hook and a 4.5 millimeter knitting needle if you're a knitter. This is machine washable and machine dryable. So like I said, it the, the cotton blend is really great when it comes to washing and drying your project, especially if you're making um, wearables like sweaters, um, summer sweaters. I love making summer sweaters out of cotton. I'm actually making a cotton t-shirt right now for myself <laughs> to uh, wear on vacation. If I get it, get it finished before I go on vacation, I will be taking it with me to wear. If I don't get it finished in time to wear, I'll be taking it with me to actually work on. However, I am knitting that project. I'm not actually crocheting this one. Um, I'll show you real quick. So I'm using the, um, the Sugar, Sugar Wheel Cotton Sparkle by Yarn Bee. It's a DK weight yarn, so it's number three yarn. And uh, here's my knitting needles here, and here's my uh, shirt. So you can tell I, I'm using some circular needles here for um, those of you who knit. Um, I just like working on circular needles because you have a lot more room to move around. So that's why I prefer circular needles over straight needles. Besides, to make a large sweater, like which is the size I want for myself, would be a large, um, I would have to have some like bigger needles, <laughs> longer, as in longer needles. And that just gets a little, uh, you know, awkward to manipulate. So the cables are great for that. But anyway, that explaining that project. So getting back to the cotton cakes, um, yeah, I love this yarn. I'm not absolutely thrilled about the colorway, which by the way, this colorway, let me see what this is called. 
Oh, it's called Boho Floral. And I can see that this would be Boho. I mean, look at those colors. You got um, brown and off-white, and then you got this mauve color. You've got a teal color, and then you have this mustard color. So these are very much Boho colors. Um, I would have preferred a different color, <laughs> but you know, that's how it goes. Overall, I'm still really thrilled with the kit. I think I can live with the colors um, and love, love this yarn, this cotton acrylic blend. So Karen cotton cakes are one of my favorites uh, to use. So love it. But yeah, that is the video today, you guys. Uh, short and sweet. Um, thank you for being here. You guys know how much I appreciate you. And uh, YouTube is a little upset with me right now because I'm not posting enough videos uh, in the last three weeks since all of this started happening with my family member having the big major surgery and winding up in intensive care and um, me having these low blood sugars. So I'm trying to put out at least one video every week and you guys are just great. You're so loyal to me and I appreciate it so much the way that you watch my videos and and try to make YouTube happy for me. So yeah, um, my one question to you guys is what do you think about this uh, month's April what do you think about April's Mary Maxim kit? And do you like the boho color, this boho color scheme? Um, let me know. I'm just curious um, as to what you guys think about Caron Cotton Cakes and about the uh, pattern and especially the colorway. So, yeah. Let me know, everybody. Leave me a comment below. I love reading all your comments. Uh, you guys just make my day all the time. So love it. Thank you so much. Oh, and if you're new here, I would appreciate it so much if you would smash that subscribe button and uh, join me all the time uh, when I put out these videos for you. So yeah, you guys, I'm going to have some exciting videos coming up. I'm going to have a tutorial on how to make a Japanese style project bag that is going to be coming very soon. Um, let me see. I'm going to show you. I have been working on granny squares for that project. And there, here's, uh, one of them right here. So, yeah, these I'm going to turn into a project bag. So if you know how to make a granny square, you can follow along with me. If you don't know, follow along with me because I'm going to show you how. I'm going to show you how to make this one particular. So anyway, yeah, that's what's coming up. So thank you guys so much. And as always, I appreciate you all, each and every one of you so much. And uh, be kind. And be safe out there in the world, no matter where you are. And I'll see you all soon. Thanks, everybody. Bye.